Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the boardroom check-in. This is gonna be a segment to where I come in, hop in front of the camera, maybe provide a little inspiration, a little motivation, and sometimes a little revelation, right? Uh, and this week, I really wanna kick off and just get started with the idea of just get started. Just get started is something that honestly I created in this, in this room a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's an idea around just go ahead, get out there and pursue your purpose, man. And, and what happens is we all sit on ideas. I mean, there are many people out there that got a great book idea. You got a song that you've been wanting to write for so long. You got um, this recipe. You want to start restaurants. Like it, it's a lot of stuff that everyone wants to do. But what ends up happening is, man, we focus on the what way too much, man. We can't think about the what too often. We have to reverse engineer that thing and start thinking about the why. The why is what separates ourselves and allow us to cut through the noise to really get what we are do, right? And this is all revolved around this idea and concept that I'm reading right now. It starts with the why. It's a book by Simon Sinek. This is actually gonna be our book of the month for uh, November. So if you haven't got it, go get it. If you want to you know, have a conversation about it, start a book club, I'm more than happy to do such. But I want to recommend that book because these are the principles within it. And it's something that, honestly, I really, really want to get out there because it's something that I went through myself. It's something in this room me and my brother went through for his business a couple weeks ago. And I'll give you the scenario. We were sitting in here, we were talking, and my brother is starting a photography business. And like he's so excited, he's so ready to go out there and start getting clients. And I just looked him in the face and was like, yo, why do you want to start a photography business? And he looked at me with a humble heart, you know, with, you know, a heart of passion and said, hey, man, like, to be quite honest, it's a lot of people out there taking photography, but, you know, anyone can pose for a picture and take a good picture. But what I want to do is capture those moments that you don't pose for when you're at a wedding and you pick up your daughter or when you're, you know, at a family reunion and you go and hug your parents. Like, I want to capture those moments because those are the moments that we value the most. Man, that was so beautiful to me because it's like, yo, he has a very, very, very strong why. Like that type of ambition, that type of thought, like that type of heart is gonna allow him to be able to separate himself from other photographers that are doing it just for a check. And that's the approach that we have to take when we pursue our passions, when we pursue our dreams, when we pursue what God has put on the inside of us. And even when you look at Yeshua, Jesus is someone that, you know, had a very strong why. When he was going to that cross, like there was a moment that he, he was thinking like, man, Lord, take this cup from me. But his why was so strong. We were his why. He was thinking about us as he was going to that cross because he knew once he went to that cross, he would save so many souls in the process. So like when you got a strong why, it allow you to just push past those moments that, that you get down on yourself. When you got a strong why, it'll push you towards the next thing, but you can't get stuck at the what. And I hope your why, identifying your why, pushes you to get started today because you just can't sit back. You can't have analysis paralysis. You can't sit here and wait for the perfect timing because guess what? It's never gonna be the perfect time. You have to start today, improve, get better, but you have to have a strong why and know why you're doing what you wanna do. So man, I hope this helps somebody out there. Again, go out, get this book, Start With The Why by Simon Sinek. He has a very good TED Talk as well. It's about 18 minutes long. Um, that kind of summarizes this in the, um, a nice little YouTube video. But um, I encourage anyone that hasn't seen it to go take a look, man. So again, thanks for tuning in. And this is the Boardroom Check-In signing off. Peace.